Welcome back to Data Cloud Now's live coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. I'm now joined by Landing AI's founder and CEO, Andrew Ng, along with Chief Operating Officer, Dan Maloney. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to have you on the program today. Thanks for having us, Ryan. Great to be here. Andrew, you say Landing AI is pioneering the data-centric AI movement in companies. Can you elaborate on that? So, I think, as you know, Ryan, data-centric AI is the discipline of systematically engineering the data to build a su successful AI system. When we look at AI systems, people think about building a model, writing software, and then you know, training that AI on data. And a lot of work has been on inventing new software, new algorithms. But what we and others have been finding is for a lot of practical applications with a good enough piece of software, a lot of the action is in cleaning up the data, making sure it's systematic, and so what Landing AI has been pioneering is new technologies to help people with that data preparation that makes it much more efficient to build a successful AI system. And I think that's shortened development time of projects from like a year to maybe a month. Um, and then with the recent wave of technology with large language models and prompting out in the world, and visual prompting, which we've been doing at Landing AI, we further shorten that one month to you know, maybe like a few days by getting really great data. An exciting next chapter. The talk of Summit has been Gen AI and LLMs. Andrew, I know you just took the stage for the final keynote. What were the highlights? You know, I was actually pretty surprised um, at the amount of consensus on the panel, um, you know, Christian was there and a bunch of us, on some of the mega trends. I wasn't expecting this amount of agreement, but what's happened in the world is a lot of AI has been working on structured data, you know, tableau data. In fact, Snowflake's done a great job enabling that. Um, with the recent generative AI wave, a lot of this is right now text, and then also increasingly images or multimodal data. And so this is actually creating a lot of opportunities for every, everyone with cloud data, been exploiting the structured tablet data, fantastic value with LLMs, increasingly exploiting the text data. Um, but then it turns out 80% or so, maybe even more of the world's data is unstructured data. And of that, maybe 80% or more is image data. And so there's this even bigger wave coming of AI algorithms to take advantage of that. And I was actually really surprised yeah. Dan, Dan was there, how, how much people kind of seem to think this is just the right path. Yeah. You know, thank you for, for taking the stage for, for the final keynote. It's great to have you, Andrew, and Landing AI here. Dan, from your perspective, it's been an incredible week here yep. with Snowflake Summit, with the entire data cloud ecosystem, quite literally, all around us. You know, what excites you most about what's next? Yeah, so I think there, there's a, a couple things. So first of all, Andrew mentioned kind of the, uh, the world of data. The, Snowflake has really been focused classically in the world of structured data, but has really made a big push over the past 18 months, as Christian called out, into the world of unstructured data. What's really exciting for us about that is I think some of the new uh, releases that, that Snowflake kind of highlighted throughout the week where you know, new, new technology like Snowpark Container Services. This is going to allow us to bring apps like Landing AI and other companies focus around vision, focus around images, bring that AI around that into Snowflake and that's going to open up a vast opportunity for our joint customers to do a lot more together in the world of generative AI, a lot more around text, a lot more around image, a lot more around video. So I think that's really exciting. And then the second piece that I think is really almost like an undertone is this new dynamic where you're almost able to build apps on top of apps with uh, Streamlit and Streamlit and Snowflake. So I think that last mile of being able to build these bespoke AI solutions uh, that are custom for enterprises, which are quite different than the, the Gen AI models, which are generic out there for the consumers. So the ability to build Streamlit and Snowflake apps on top of things like Landing AI and other solutions, I really think that's going to open up a whole new paradigm for, for Snowflake. You know, I want to look towards the future and down the line. You know, Dan, from your perspective, what's top of mind for you as you look out on the horizon? Yeah, so I think there, there's a lot of exciting things obviously coming around the corner. I think the, the world is focused right now on, on Gen AI and the large language model, foundation model, so that world around text. 
I really feel like the next year and uh, the next 18 to 24 months with, with Snowflake landing and others, it's really going to be a lot more about large image, large vision model, and doing things very specific for the enterprises. So I think the hype that you see today around you know, chat GPT and much more, you're going to see that same dynamic uh, you know, in the next 12 to 18 months. So I think that's really what I'm most excited about tackling with Snowflake here. Well, we can feel the buzz all oh, around yeah. us. It's incredible. Um, Andrew, from your perspective, as you look out on the collective you know, macro industry, what are you focused on and what's top of mind? You know, I feel like, um, I, I, I like what Dan said a lot. I feel like I want to flash my nerd license and just get <laughs> technical, which is, these are the technical megatrends I'm seeing. Um, large language models and generative AI is very topical, everyone's talking about it. The fundamental technology that underlies that is the transformer neural network, which was you know, announced by my former team, Google Brain, in 2017, and that led to a wave of innovation leading to prompting and chat GPT and so on. So that's been fantastic and exciting. Lots of people figuring out how to use that now. Um, so there's work to be done where the hockey puck is now, and also maybe even more work to be done where the puck is going. Text Transformers was 2017. Vision Transformers came out in 2020, three years later. Uh, also, same team, Google Brain. And since then, there's been this wave of innovation, scaling up, figuring out things. Um, I was at the Computer Vision Conference, CVPR, a week ago, where I uh, gave a keynote at one of the workshops as well. And there's something in the air in Computer Vision, the way that there was something in the air at the text NLP conferences a couple years ago. And so what I'm seeing, um, and many people are seeing, is this wave of innovation for text transformers is happening in vision transformers, and this is enabling a new generation of applications. Um, so that text revolution is coming to images, and I see a lot of excitement about preparing ourselves for that, to let people process all this massive amounts of not just text, but multimodal image data that people have. Well, gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on Data Cloud now here at Snowflake Summit. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for Ryan. having us, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.